Okay, today um, we're changing out their air intake runner control valve on an 09 Patriot. It threw the code and said that it's stuck open. And I'll put that error code in the description or in the title. I don't know yet. <clears throat> I've seen a couple other videos on how this is done, and they take out all of this stuff. I'd really like to avoid that. So we're going to start, first of all, by removing this air intake part here. And it just pops up, slides out. We'll set that aside. I'm not even sure what that does. The next thing we're going to do is remove this air intake hose. I've never done this before, so if I can do it, you can do it. I should probably take that off. It's probably the math sensor. Okay, there's the part right there. Um, the part here in Canada was fairly expensive, $300 after tax. A couple other videos said that you can just pull them off and clean them. Uh, but this is my mom's car, so I, I'd rather just put the new part on there. So I, I can't do this with one hand. I'm going to take those two bolts off, and it should just fall off. Once it's off, we'll take that uh, piece of wiring harness off of it and put the new one in. Here's the new one. The new guy looks fairly straightforward. Yeah, looks like uh, three bolts that we got to take off. Uh, it may turn out that something's in my way, but you know, usually when you can see a part, see the bolts, that means you can get wrenches on them. So let's see if we can get that done. So I got into this a little bit more. I ended up taking off the front side of the air uh, air cleaner box. I took off the hose here, radiator hose, and it's just right here facing up. It didn't lose much water, but I'll, I'll check it before I uh, put it all back together. And that really opened up that area around that box. So um, I should be able just to go ahead and pull it right out of there now. Okay, so I got the old one out, and I just wanted to know, I want you to be careful because there's a 10 mil bolt right, there's the bolt for the part, here's the bolt for what looks like to be a water inlet. <clears throat> I took that one almost all the way out before realizing that I was on the wrong one. Couldn't see it because I was blind, but uh... I always like to start with the hardest nut first, and that was the hardest one to get to. Um, if you start with the easy ones and you can't get to the hard one, then you're screwed. So, uh, another uh, taking the clip off. There's. It looks like this has already been done before. It's got a mechanics pen on there. You take the little red clip out, pop the little red clip, and then push on this little red thing here, and then it comes right out. Uh, older cars it's the opposite you pull up on it and uh, pull it out so now we're just going to reverse the process here's the new part we're going to make sure that this little key gets keyed into the right part which i'll show you is right there and um, that should be it so uh I'll reverse this process, put it back together, check the coolant, stuff like that, and um, fire it back up. Now, I don't know if the code will automatically reset or just won't come up, but uh, it is throwing a check engine light and uh, a code. So uh, hopefully that, that fixes itself. But if not, I'll have to bring it somewhere to reset that code. Um, one thing to note is that one of the bolts, this one right here, is uh, an eight millimeter and the other two are 10 mil 
just so you know. That bolt that was behind there was 10 mil too, so that's why it kind of threw me off. But uh, you do kind of have to clock this a little bit first, stick it on the keyway, and then turn it, and then stick it on. Um, so, yeah, that's just another note there. Okay, the part is back in. Again, I started with that hardest bolt on the bottom. Side note, I took this out and I put a um, channel locks on there and grabbed that little nub and just gave it a slight little bump and it un unstuck. So maybe a little brake cleaner and WD-40 in there would have would have prevented the having to replace the part. So. Um, you know, if you're broke and just looking to get that solenoid unstuck, it was it wasn't very stuck. I mean it was. I just gave it a little bump and it and it freed up. Again, this is my mom's car though, and this part is warranted and uh, I just don't want any more problems, so she has the money to fix it, so that's why we're fixing it the right way. The coolant hose is back on. I'm gonna put reinstall the uh, air filter and cleaner cover. MAF sensor, that's really it. The only thing I can see is that my mom's terminals are really dirty and they should be cleaned. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but something to be noted for future reference. So um, other than that, this job went really smoothly. Um, I couldn't imagine, even if you have zero mechanic ability that you couldn't do this. Uh, anyone can do this. Anyone can work on cars. It was put together by people and assembled by people and uh, don't be afraid to do your own mechanic work. These new cars, they tell you exactly what's wrong with them, right? You go have the code read, tells you what it is, go to the part store, buy the part, locate the part, change it out, done deal. Now I wouldn't suggest if you're new to change out a transmission or anything like that, but you never know. Uh, what's that guy over at Aging Wheels? He's always saying he's not a mechanic and he's never done any of this before. And um, and he does it. His Trabant, and he completely rebuilt it. Uh, Tavarish, wrench every day. Um, he just took the engine out of his, uh, is it a Bentley? At any rate, he didn't know what he was doing either. Pulled out that whole engine. So um, don't be afraid. It's already broken. I mean, how much worse can you make it, right? I'm going to assemble this now. Okay, that's it. The air cleaner's back together. Everything's back together. Um, that should be it. Give it a start and see what happens. Okay, the check engine light is still on. Uh, so, I'm sure that'll have to be reset, but... Uh, where the guy where the guy said he would do it at the oil change place where my mom brought it, but it's running it's fixed it's running better my my mom said it was stalling and um, she was going through gas like crazy so um, it seems like it's running good now. Anyways, if you enjoyed that video and if I was a help in any way please like and subscribe, and if you've made it this far, thank you for watching.